Hi everyone, this is Mundar Nagaman and this video we are going to start our flow with Excel. So in this flow we are going to choose the file Excel and we are going to get the data from the Excel. And before starting any flow, you should remember like whenever you create some flow, whatever the status before you start the flow, the same status should be maintained after execution also. Which means that whatever the resources you are opening, that should be closed. For example, in this video, we are going to open the Excel sheet. Obviously, when you complete the Excel flow, it should be closed. So with that point, we will start our flow. New flow. Let's say Excel basic. And click create. It opens the flow designer. And let's say we are going to select the file because it should be user interactive or let's say it should be very dynamic based on the different users. So that means that we should not hard code the values. We should allow the user to select the different values. However, we can make the different filter condition or let's say the validation over the file, whether it is expected as per our requirement or not. Select file and here you can see the select file dialog. And let's say select Excel. And initial folder, you can make a different folders. For example, I am making documents. And here you can make the filters. For example, I want to allow only the XLS X. Star dot XLS X. If you want to make the different combination, you can just mouse over on the information. You can see the different options here. As of now, we are applying only this filter and click save. It is producing two variables. One is selected file, another one is a button pressed. Let's see the message output. display message just tag and drop and here title will be selected file and message to be displayed we know already we have created the variable selected file in that we are going to see the full name which shows the entire path save till this point we will run and see and here you can see since we have applied the filter it is showing only the xls and go to the documents and look for any file. So we have already some sample data, Python session. Click open and here you can see the full path. Okay, that's fine. Now next we need to launch the Excel. So far we have done only opening the file. It can be any file. However, we make the filter condition to open only the Excel file. In order to do the multiple Excel operations, you need to launch the Excel properly. So for that, let's type launch Excel. And here you can see, it will be the opening following document. And we know already we have selected. Let's go into the variable section and click on the selected file, select. If you want to open as a read only, you can enable this. However, we can just see as it is. Now we open the Excel. In the similar fashion, we need to close. Rather than closing at the end, we can close now itself so that we can make all the other steps in middle. Close Excel and we will make it here. The same instance. And if you want to save the document, you can save it. Otherwise, you can do not save document. Now we have opened the Excel sheet. Now we need to get the a particular tab. In Excel perspective, it will be the sheet. Let's say set active sheet. So by practice, you will come to know what are the different commands we can type it and get it. Let's say this is the active worksheet. Before that, I will open that Excel sheet manually and showcase. Here you can see the first tab is Python. This is the table we want to get or this is the data we want to get. So that's where I'm going here. And you open the same Excel instance. Here you can activate the worksheet either by the name or by the index. We will go with the name as we have the Python already. Let's type Python and save. Before saving, let's say some user selects the Excel file and he or she does not have the tab called python or excel sheet name called python then what should be done on error you can click on the error either you can continue but let's say if this excel is the origin point and the main input for your flow then we should throw the error click save now we have activated the excel sheet next one will be the getting data let's see get Uh, let's say type Excel 
to narrow the things get all excel data or read from excel yes read from excel data and here you can see the same excel instance that we have opened and the value of a single cell you can get it or you can get the range of cells or you can get all the data so this is we are going to get all the values from the worksheet and this all the data will be saved as the excel data you know that it will be the 2d in case of excel sheet that means that you have the rows and columns so entire rows and columns will be captured as a table and that table will be saved as a variable called excel data the value of range of cells as a data table either you can give the range of cells or you can select all the values from the excel data now that's fine now the close excel should be the last statement we will drag and drop to the last and we have read it now we will see how the data looks like just to see that we will just again display the same message display message after reading the excel sheet and here you can see the excel data raw and the variable should be excel data which is type of data table select and click ok let's run this flow and see how the data has been retrieved after retrieving the data we can do the different activities by using the for loop and so on but this video our intention is to just to open the excel by using the file dialog and we are making sure there will be a some tab which called python and we are getting entire data into the data table and we are going to see the data table either by the display message or by the direct value from the excel data variable let's save it and run it Before that, I will close the existing files to avoid unnecessary confusion. Click here, Python session XLS, open. The open file will be the same name. It's launching the Excel sheet. It's displaying all the data here. You can see the raw data. However, the date format consider the time format also. We can ignore as of now. Click OK and close the Excel. And if you see the Excel data, it shows five rows and two columns. Why? Because it's considering the top column names also as the row. We can choose that in the read excel. Let's go to the read excel. Click on advance and here you can see first line of range contains the column names. Enable this one and save it. Now again run it. Choose the file. Okay. Now if you see it does not have the topics or let's say the column names. Here if you open it you can see that the row starts from the data actually rather than starting from the date and topic. And this excel data variable can be used in the further stages. However we can see now only as a data table. After doing all these things we are closing the excel. So we have launched the excel, we have closed the excel, in between we have what are the properties or what are the actions that we want to do, we have done everything here. So this way we have opened one excel file and we launch the excel file because opening the any file is differing from the launching the excel. When you need to launch the excel to, to do the a set of excel activities and reading activity we have done and we know that now reading the excel sheet will be the data table and we can use the data variable or let's say the excel data variable. And we are closing the excel sheet just to make sure after execution of our flow it should be the same state before what we have done. So this is all about the basic flow on the launching the excel sheet. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.